Okay, and here we are at the uh, Star Trek 30th High School reunion. Yes, we'll be seeing a lot of old, dear, beloved, sagging, bloated friends desperately in need of work. We'll meet a lot of new friends carrying on the fine tradition of charging ten bucks for an autograph. Uh, yes, yes. Excuse me, gentlemen, if you'll take your seats. I am due to be afloat in the Macy's parade. We're within visual range of the energy distortion, Captain. Okay, um, initiate space things. On screen. I'm sorry about that, Dr. B. Try generating a subspace field around the ships. That might break them free. There's too much quantum interference, Captain. But subspace can do anything. Sir, the Lacool's hull integrity is down to 12%. Damn, hulls these days have no integrity. Someone making toast? I love toast. Captain Kirk. Captain Pork. I would have. Remember, always check the insulation on your appliance cord. Beam them out of there, Scott. Uh oh, airbag malfunction. Transport complete. And speaking of transport, I'll need wheelchair assistance to the lunch buffet, please. I got 47 out of 150. And now the other hundred and three are smashing into the hull. Ah, my Dell! Grab a cold one from the fridge. Did he say bacon is free? <laughs> no, but you can be certain he thought it over and over again. Sorry, we've been fogging for mosquitoes. My God! Was anyone in here? Hi. Well, I know you were here. You're standing right... Oh, you mean... I see. I see. Lower the badge of office. Place it on a really stupid-looking hat. Yeah, he won a hat! Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, the traditional Klingon response to practical jokes is to hunt down and kill the perpetrator's family. Number one. <laughs> All hands make sail! To Ganzels and courses! Stand by the braces! Well, you have no idea what you're saying, do you? Computer exit. Computer bathroom. Now! Captain. The rental place called about our costume. Got down from Red Alert. It gets me every time. Number one. I just can't stand down from Red Alert without crying. I sense upsetness. Oh, is this semi gloss? Really what? Ah! Me. Ah! That was me, tripped over a dead guy, sorry. <laughs> Isn't he from Flock of Seagulls? Romulans. Oh, right, that would, that would follow. Makes more sense. Data. Now may be the appropriate time. You suppose the guy with the Aren't air filter over his eyes ever looks at the guy with net. the sparkly clown white on his face and says, true. Dear God, what has my life come to? Side effects may include melodrama, unwanted subplots, and uncontrollable hamminess. Always consult your producer before beginning this or any storyline change. We found two dead Romulans on the station. Were they cooking size? We're analyzing their equipment. <laughs> Make a hole. Comic interlude coming through. Excuse us. I'll see what I can do. Somebody reboot Malcolm. Well, this popsicle stinks. There's no... You could say, I have a magnetic personality. <laughs> or you could jam a <laughs> shrimp fork into my eye. Humor! Hmm, I could use this to kill Data, but how? I could hit him with a monitor, but he's a robot. Hmm. Maybe I could force this bomb Data. down his throat. Come take a look at this, will you? Joke about it, and I will ram a wood chisel into your ear. You ever seen a solar probe with this kind of configuration? No, Jordy. I have not. Uh, Mike, I'm fully ready to and die. <laughs> oh, my soul. Hey, we don't have time for this. Hang in there, oh, I cannot... Data. Stay dead. Stay dead. Data, are you Stay all right? Stay dead. Stay dead. Damn. So pompous and arrogant. He always had to have the last and word. And he always made that word carrot for some reason. And he, he mellowed a little bit in the last few Started years. Started drinking. What's happened? Well, the film's ground to a halt for one thing. Robert and Renee, there. Burned to death in the fire. Wow, hard to get a chuckle out of that. Yeah, they should have had him run over by a bookmobile. To 
make our job easier. Yeah, right. Captain. Well, got that weenie roast and s'more party. Wish I could get out of it given the circumstances, but what you gonna do? Your family history is very important to you, isn't it? What? What, what are you jabbering on? Oh. Are you still here? You felt it was no longer your responsibility to carry on the family line. Right. Yes, that's it, exactly. You're good at this. Can I have some drugs? What? It... Oh, and that was Planet Picard. Great! Well, they got the plot train back on track. I call no more killing off nephews. Commander Riker's team is aboard, sir. Help warp one, engage! Go that way! Yeah, it's cool, but those things can't tow a boat. Why is she playing with his neck folds? If the Enterprise hadn't intervened, they would have found it. They didn't find it! Gah! Like and two cheeks of the same withered butt. <laughs> no less, uh. Soren escaped with a handful of other refugees aboard a ship called the Lakul. That ship was you got hair in your ear. <laughs> energy ribbon. All you'll want is to stay in the next. Researching article after article. And you're not gonna want to come back. You'd think that a little thing like a nexus might have come up in conversation over the years. <laughs> have you ever considered a prosthesis? It would make you look a little more... Spiky uh, and English. How can I say? Uh, more normal. What's normal? You know, Billy Idle <laughs> hair, <laughs> sunken <laughs> eyes. I am an El Orion. Some people call us a race of listeners. We listen... Others call us hams. <laughs> I was afraid. So which way is north on this thing? Forced to make a course correction. Ambient magnetic fields. Wait. Okay, now go. The Bozeman. <laughs> Why would it make you? You're an officer on board this ship, and I require you to perform your duty. That is an order, Commander. Now take a Midol and freshen up. Try, sir. That moment, he decided to blow up the ship. <laughs> Data. Yes, sir. Stop holding my hand. Sorry, sir. Why doesn't he just fly into it with a ship? Don't yell! <laughs> Our records show that every ship which has approached the ribbon has either been destroyed or severely damaged. Like my self-esteem from all your yelling. He can't get to the ribbon. So he's trying to make the ribbon come to him. Data, <laughs> does it pass near to any M-class planets? Yes, sir. There are two in the Viridian system. This one is a nice M-class with uh, the turbo diesel. Viridian 3. Data. Draw a little mustache on Viridian 3. What happened to the... However, Viridian 4 supports a pre-industrial humanoid society. Population. I don't care. It's a pre-industrial. Jeez. 230 million, sir. Again, though, pre-industrial. Yeah, no big whoop. I imagine being on a Klingon ship is kind of like being stranded on the tarmac in a 727. No food, toilets overflowing, lots of women with really ugly foreheads. <laughs> Did you get anything from the human? No. His heart just wasn't in it. And another question. Did you ever find a comb? Of it. A Viridian 3. Thanks, Grunt. This contains all the information you'll need to make a Trilithian weapon. And don't ask me why I put it on a flat plastic it's lobster. That is a galaxy-class starship. We are no match for them. You tell him, Rhonda. And how's the emotional little Maybe girl? They're not out there. Sir, can we play ship again? According to my calculation, they are hailing. On screen. Yeah! Ah! Off screen! Off screen! We unexpected. We did not harm your well, They look engineer. like the offspring of Ted Nugent He's and uh, a snapping yes. turtle. Then return him. In exchange for what? Me, sir. Me! Kirk would have already had them both in the sack I would be by now. <laughs> but. Wee! <laughs> uh, yeah, the D cell's not helping. Well, hey, my hair didn't make the trip. It... Oh, I'm bald. That's right. I know why you're here. You think I'm staying? You're not entirely. Ah! A field of fakey stuff. I have established a link between us and the ancient creature known as Slash. <laughs> 